this is a combination of two things. Um, our Christmas single. It's the same one we did last year. We've been releasing it. Um, last year. Didn't really work out. Uh, it's a combination of that and a story. Work in progress. Uh, and this is the story. It's called How Capitalism Turns All Art, Even the Really Good Stuff, into a Meretricious Pabulum, much in the same way that it unequivocally deforms the relationship between any single thing and everything which isn't that single thing. 1980. I've got eyes, but don't ask me to look at what's over there. I already know what's over there, under a lustrum's worth of dust. A dustrum. That dust gathers day by day, but I'm disappointed at the low rate of its accumulation. Does this mean I'm impatient with the dust and its falling, or with the days themselves, as they are so slow to arrive? Am I secretly hoping for the dust to cover not only the promise I made, but also the entire historical context within which I made that promise? The troubled relationship between our complicated and limited understanding of reality and the atomic facts, if they exist at all, which are constitutive of reality. To be human, to be sentient, maybe just to be alive, is already to be in a certain cognitive or apprehensional distance from reality. But in that case, why do we call it reality? Once I traded not in dust, but in air, air, flavoured temporarily with sound, a bebop hybrid of metal and directed noise. I flew along that air from Tokyo to the Isle of Wight, becoming tired as the bearer of my own standard, growing sadder at each foreign hotel attendant's genuine but ipso facto fake smile of corporate invitation. I resiled big time. But now they want the big man. Hair. Leather. Brass. Attitude. Gratitude. Nouns. I used to be a verb. Verbs do the grinding. The nouns are what is ground. The ground exists only as the thing from which we fly. Have I become too fly to fly? 